Welcome back to season two of Airtime with Jay. I'm your host, Jay Edwards, and Airtime with Jay is a safe space to have real conversations with some of your favorites. This season is sponsored by Jay Radio and King Shiloh Lounge. Be sure to check out all the details in the description box below. In today's episode, today's guest came from Rags to Riches. Join me as I welcome the Drift King, TJ. <laughs> Blessings oh, in the bro, you don't know. Yeah. Right, Come on the set, TJ, see TJ, we, see TJ. We, see we. From rags to riches, yeah, man. to the beast. <laughs> I know we start drift around the world and yeah. I deep. Listen, I'm doing this interview as a fan, as an interviewer, as somebody that genuinely respects your career. And I just yeah, want to say, number one, your growth has been amazing. Respect. And from where you start, from where you reach, you number know, just want the people them to say, yo, this is a TJ in a real life. You understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, respect. Man, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. Respect. <laughs> so in this interview, I want us to learn more about you as an artist, some of your struggles, accomplishments, and stuff like that. But before we get into anything, we want the bartender to run up the drinks there for me, please. Which one the bartender they run up the drinks every winner, please? High, high life. <laughs> the high life. <laughs> Big up King Sally Lounge with the drinks, and you know how the thing's set. You get what I'm saying? Right, that's all. Right, that's all. So, TJ. Yeah. How oh, it feel for come from rags to riches? Or something like that. Well, the journey from where you start from where you reach now. How oh, it, oh, it feel? Honestly, rags to riches. Yeah. It's just a tie to see him where we, we as ghetto you, wherever ghetto you it would like to know, say, yo, we fall from the summer, we can we reach somewhere where we can balance ourselves, see him yeah. in our life. We might not reach, rich like so, man, but we have life, see him, we understand. Yeah, so, me saying rocks to rich is not only mean money. Is it in a different state of comfortability? Yeah, right it, now? yeah. it's just yeah. a thing where you know, say, God, no, we fall from nothing, I know. Roof over where you them head, them can eat food, them can go yeah. good school. You understand me? And I feel like, yeah. say, as a human being, you have to call on certain things for yourself. Actual you affirmation. Have to send out things to the yeah. universe to get back greatness. So, me saying rocks to riches, it was just destined for greatness. It's destined for greatness. Yeah, man. And you've been seeing it. So, with that, where do you feel like your career is at currently? Because where you did a couple of years ago is not where you're at now, you know? So, or you feel what what is the position you know, right more now? while me have a thing, I forgot what it, I forgot I forgot what it means, but it's a sin to, it's a sin to my thing. Where more while you're not even remember who you is. Okay. If you mess like yeah. sometimes other people have to really stop and check and tell us, I bro, are you named TJ and no stop? Yeah. What go on? If you yeah. got what it mean, bro, it's a man say but Imposter syndrome kind of ah, thing. Yeah, that's ah, it. Yeah, 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 that, that, yeah. Respect my G. You get what I say? It's like, yeah. even though I mean I'm TG and thing, yeah. the career upon a, upon a business level it takes some time for structure the career upon a business level. Series. Yeah, that's so, the thing. Mastering mm. and them like a thing that my youth them can come benefit or fight the same yeah. way. Because one time I never really knew about that. But right now the career is at a good that's a good spot. Is that a good spot? Well, me, me tell you. Cause the first time I meet TJ was in the UK at his listening party for I Am Chippy EP. Yeah. And I'm going to give you my honest review of what I thought the first time. Yeah. First thing I say is, guys, and I think I've heard it about in the industry, but people don't really... He's very humble. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to... Not because you're in front of me. Yeah, right now, I'm going to talk the truth. He's one of them people where... The first time I saw him, he was on the stage and obviously he was talking about his EP and stuff like that. And I can just say, you know, when you can look upon somebody and say them really try for what them reach yeah, right. type of thing. And I can just see that he was basking in the moment, say, I, you're, you're really up with all this type of thing. And you're reaching yeah. the UK and then there's something there. Yeah. And you can just kind of see that you've been through a lot to get to that point. Yeah, and right. with that, I saw that in previous interviews, you were saying that, oh, you know, I think in a fixed, to, um, when he was on the fixed interview, 20, 2021, even did I ask you, I think he was about to put out a Rags to Riches album. Yeah. Yeah, and that never came to fruition. But they did I yeah. ask you if you want Grammy or uh, Ray, Ray, And you did say, no, I want to touch the billboard first. Yeah. Did you not see that full circle come around with the IMGP EP and it touched billboard reggae yeah, charts? No, me I go for the Grammy. I know, know. know you yeah, go for the Grammy. For dance all, because yeah. you were one. Most people don't really understand, say, the fight where we out there fight as dance artists, mm. it's hard. 
And what's the fight? Because the genre. Okay. The genre where we are trying to push. Remember them name it Afrobeat now. Yeah. You feel me, I say? Yeah. And now we are trying to push dance, dance out yeah. here to the yeah. world. Yeah. And whenever a younger youth like me in the genre get established, you still see reggae. Yeah. It's not a problem, you know. I don't yeah. want it so now. We're still No, but reggae. it is a problem. Because what he's talking about is when you go to publish the songs, Afrobeats has so many different subgenres. Yeah, Af Afrofusion, right. Afro dancer. Even when I did the Billboard interview, they tried so much thing yeah. just to make sure Afro beat was in front of the dancer. They say they emerge young, rising Afro beat. Afro dancer artist. No, no, sorry, because we did that before. And we that. did did an interview yeah, talking about dancer music. Yeah. So what people don't really understand is fighting for dancer music right now. It's hard because but more I'm trying to explain it, but people don't really understand. You feel yeah. me? I say. What's the fights that you face when you say the fights? Like, is it the case where you're trying to push it into an international space, or you're more all right? Like, like, first of all, most of the time, if you realize our genre. When a man find a, a breakout song, mm. like Drift, may I use my song as a Drift, yeah. Right? And may I use me as a dancer artist. Yeah. When, so we sign to the label, yeah, we find the song before we sign to the label. That simply means we never did a try find an international song. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now we we'll find the international song, bam, here comes the label. Here comes one bag of people. I come with offers. And come with all kind of thing. Yeah. But you realize most of these people don't even understand what you're saying. Yes, they that don't. is true. It's yeah. just the beat and the... Ta -ta 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 -ta. Uh, uh, yeah, and the little rhythms and the little slang. You feel me? Yeah. I've been to um, French Guadeloupe. Mm. Nobody in Guadeloupe knows talk English, bro. Yeah. Do you think that's challenging with your music and trying it to get is that? It's challenging. Yeah. The only thing they know was... Ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> Where the where? Da, 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 da. Yeah. That's all I know. So so when 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 we have a crossover song like that, you find out now when the label come. Just because our music is not doing what I would say now. If our music, dance our music is three percent of the market shares. Yes, yeah, yeah. Feel yeah, me? Yeah, 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 so that yeah. means that our music is not streaming. Yeah, yeah. And, and people are buying the music. They are, they are not buying the music, yeah. but it is streaming on YouTube. Yes. Because for dance artists, YouTube is our biggest platform. Yeah. You feel me? I say. So when I know Apple Music, iTunes, and then there's something because we're not ah, that established as a third world. So when you have an artist yeah. like we break out now, we we'll realize that the label, our, our management, or everybody always try to get international collaboration for the artists. Yeah. Just so the artists can peek over into the next genre. Other fans can listen to him. His Spotify number. So you see when the, 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 the labels come in, do you feel like you have less control over the music? Because I know they always try to come and doctor dance all down or motor Honestly, it down into a certain... it depends on your contract. Okay. It depends on the contract where you sign. I mean, I really have that problem there. Well, let's talk about Drift, right? Yeah. Because Drift, from what I can see, over 191,000 videos was made to that song. It trended, I think, was it number one? Yeah, sure. Point? Yeah, 191,000 no, videos. Man, you have to do it again. No, 191,000 videos on TikTok. No. <laughs> yeah, videos. Wrong, man. 2.3 million recreate video. Is it? Oh, because me just go up on the song and look on the song. Yeah. 2.3 million Yeah, but you have to videos. remember. You have to remember with drift with with, yeah. a, with a with a breakout song, you might have like five different people who post it. Oh, so okay, what happened now? Okay, when you have a label, okay. the label claim that. Yeah. So you might go one song. I guess the one song like the original song would have, um, ninety eight thousand video. Yeah. Then you see a second one with like seventy eight thousand. You have people. Who, you have you have one with like, literally two point eight million video. And the song itself. So you did what? Two, two over two million, two million video make, 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 make for drift. I like that. I do that. All right, let me give you a label stats. Yeah. Artist stats. I wanna me I show a man this, you know. A serious thing we go on. But for a dancehall song, guys, that's very like. Bro, all right, look. Social streaming. What Not is this? Things, drift. At the time, this was when. Yeah. January seventeenth. Streaming for Drift January 17 was 78 million total streams. global stream. 
Drift has 2.6 million total global TikTok creates. Raw. So how you feel when you find that the song then? You know? It feel good, but I don't know as I say. Yeah. It's like <laughs> we never try find that. Yeah. That happened naturally. But, all right, cool. Being in a situation where, you know, see, I come from humble beginnings, which we're going to get into, right? And what people don't realize is that TJ has been international before Drift. Because, what, I don't know if most people know, I don't mean, I talk about what Jamaica said. I talk about somebody will come from foreign, they're in a UK, like from songs from Rags to Riches and Up Top Boss and Up Top and all them songs. They've been, a big, been playing. Regardless if you knew your face or not, but you was already touching over there because number one, your songs were relatable. Yeah. But Drift just came and gave you that extra push type of thing. And what I kind of want to know what what did Drift change for you at that moment when it went viral? Honestly, because my ass if fought, you went on Fortnite yeah. as well. Yeah, that honestly, was big, yeah, big moment, big moment, big yeah. moment, big. Mo I think you're the first dancer song to go on Drift and um, Fortnite, no? Yeah, yeah, you was the first. Yeah, that's a big yeah. deal. Yeah. That's a big deal. How, yeah. What changed me at that time? How did how did that feeling feel? Because I know a lot of artists. Well, wait the Fortnite for that one is a hit. big thing, honestly. Yeah. Right? The Fortnite was a big thing, honestly. To me, because I know about sync yeah. and publishing. Yeah. And remember how much people was actually on them platforms. Right. A lot of people would dream to All get right. onto them. You but feel you're not targeting. But the um <laughs> the breakout song when the song went viral still it yeah. it, it take a, a, a group of people still, yeah. honestly. It wasn't like oh we sing the song and mm -hmm. it just bust. You get me I say it take yeah. a group of people who the producers same way. The dancers, yeah. everybody who play a part. And then the dance, did you expect for people to really latch onto it and create? Mary said, did you create the dance for Drift no. or was just social Gabby media? Dan, but you know what, you yeah. what, definitely I was trying, before I was telling Gabby Dan, yo, you know, I have to find something else with the Drift because you don't know, really want the dance dead from the song and then when the dance dead, the song dead. So yeah. we have people all over the world now, like Africa. Yeah. I have, I have people in Africa who do a challenge. That's what I was telling you about. One person have like 1.5 recreate yeah. reels and Drift yeah. and TikTok. You feel and me? And with that song, you even um, you remix it with De Davido, David, Davido. No remix. About eight yeah. remix. Eight remix for the song. I feel like the one with Dav Davido, whatever you're calling me, or you're calling him properly. Sorry, people. That was a good move because yeah. obviously we know that Afrobeats is obviously dominating at the moment. Yeah. Right? And it also help with the fan base with in the fan Africa. Because yeah. Ghana used to listen to the thing, now you have like more than five, six million people yeah. in Nigeria who know about TJ. Trust me. Because of that whole because collab. Of yeah. that whole collab. So that was definitely a smart move for you to make. What would you say, like going around, because you didn't just do the collab, but I mean, you say you go to Nigeria and they round them people. Yeah, man, what a vibe with the youth, yeah. them and thing. Oh, yeah. How did and that the energy was right. Trust me, I see some of my brother them. Yeah. So I'm a cousin them, even though I gone, I'm a forward from still. Mm -hmm. But I see some man with fear of Puno. Mm -hmm. This man will look like you, I swear to you. Swear. Him. Was there any major cultural differences? Not really. Or was there anything you saw over them side where you say, yo, we need to adapt in a dance up? Because I know so they have more of a um, structured community over that sense. Well, not really. The man them just have a population of 200 million people. Oh, how can yeah. dance and beat this thing? And if 200 million people live in uh, Nigeria, mm. talk about how much live in uh, England, Africa. Fair enough. We're little, but we tell our, but we still yeah, could yeah, beat the man. Okay. Come on. We, we are talking about Wait, them actually million understand people. the lyrics though when you are called the video for the song and them. So, yeah, man, they understand. They understand. Some of it. Some of it. Ghana, mm -hmm. Ghana, related to we do. Yeah. Because you know, we're in Ghana, we're the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Fry breadfruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have the same type and style. saltfish, fry fish, same way. Everything Ghana like we with. So, I accept some come from Ghana. <laughs> you accept you're not one of them yeah. people. No, I accept so. that. So, behind every success, there's a story, right? Yeah. Where's TJ coming from? What's the journey been like? More I know kind of the making of TJ and what was life like before know the my music. story, you know. Our story and something we hide. Yeah. We can't hear what. Remember, nobody now have no secret for it. Yeah, yeah. have yeah. no secret a road. The world knows me come from Montego Bay. Yeah, Montego Bay. Understand, I'm born and raised in a musical family. Because mm -hmm. I grew up seeing my brothers doing music from TOK time. Okay. If you mess, my, yeah. my brother grew up, they named CNC. CNC. Then you yeah. have TOK. TOK. You know, the man I'm left from 
man think of be a, most people just said man have left from country and come to town and yeah. try to get a bus. Yeah. So you know it rough them yeah. time because you get back a bus go be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you have to try, you have so to when you come a, bus, a yeah. town and look at bus, just know them are sending you back yeah. down pan a bus. Yeah. Them time there. So if you know, I understand it was it was a it was a grafting time. Yeah, people, yeah, it was a rough time. Saying? Yeah, and, and I mean, glamorous type of thing. Kinda like them, and I like, them, they and they like say them time. They and I like the youth. Them know nobody where I go bring them a town and them I go have places to stay and them no produce and thing. Yeah. We have to come a town from there and you know we have to look places to sleep, money again and yeah. It did and rough. started recording from six. Yeah, I start recording myself from the age of six. Six. Yeah. yeah. So coming from a musical background, obviously not everyone takes to the music. How do you know music was your calling? Well, honestly, it was just a dream. As I said, I grew up seeing my brother doing, my brothers doing this. And then at the age of seven, hearing myself on the radio station. Oh, you did? You on seven, you, you yeah. did the station? Yeah, me hear myself on the radio station. Okay. The community loved me and thing. What was your first song that you officially released? I swear, if I tell you I'm a lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you I'm a lie. I think yeah. we'll find it the other day and yeah. post it on the Instagram. I think it's an yeah, Instagram yeah. post of yeah. it, right? So, I grew up in a musical family, even high school. I, I sing in TVJ altogether, I sing. I was on TVJ oh, altogether, I sing. Okay. From a high school, yeah. St. James High School. Yeah. Same. And what about parents? Were they supportive of your music? And all yeah, man. My mother, a Christian lady, same way, but you don't grew know. Grew up in a church, yeah. Yeah, you don't know a garrison, so you don't know the thing. Yeah. We grew up and see a whole heap of things the same way, and yeah. she supported yeah. because the studio, the studio, they write now, they all. Yeah. When my mother cook, we have vice. So things are just kind of accessible. It's yeah. within your reach. So yeah. it's just something where you can. The whole community come on my yeah. So was your popular? You was popular back then. Yeah, right? man, we are popular boy a yeah. long time. From me a little <laughs> touch, some popular, famous. Okay. You know the community is like everybody. They mm -hmm. just see that thing. They say, "Yo, oh, yeah, that you, that you, that you." The people because, say you did that. All right. Time. Semantic of where we come from. Yeah. It's not a music place. It, it's a. I, I wouldn't say it that way for romantic one has to feel that way, but. Well, no Most of us, yeah. as producer, selector, yeah. and artists, never really get the support from Mantic or be from even yeah, Mantic one. It's like yeah. in the community, like the youth, them have to take up the money and say so we are gonna push them artists. Yeah, yeah. we don't blame them or anything because it wasn't a job for them. Okay. Because we never have an artist or boss from be for me either. Say yo, you yeah. know, take up this money. Oh, you know what time? But a lot it of talent was, has come from Obi though. A whole heap of talent, yeah. but it was just only in. The, the oh, okay. St. James because you did have Sheriff Magia back then where we grew up. Yeah. You know, my brother them tell you have real sheriff, you have you have marital family. Marital, yeah. You yeah, have yeah, even yeah. Rhyme Minister them time the name yeah. Bugs Crime. Yeah. You feel me? I say so you have Mr. Chums, mm -hmm. a lot of artists mm -hmm. who are try from Mantico be them time and it was just marital family and family who get the break. Okay. And marital Marital and um, marital family, cartel give them the break. So, My money, ha ha. So where it wasn't popular at the time for a lot of artists to really blow up from Moby, what made you think you could do it? Because determination. Okay. Persistence. Remember, you see how I know my story, you know. So if I go tell it, I figure it step by step. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I say, you see the determination. When, when me are seventeen. My youth born. 17 years of your first youth? Yeah. What kind of pressure did you feel at that time? Get, get a youth. Yeah. You feel me, I say? 17 is quite young, right? Quite. Even though it, people may do glamorize. I breathe a long time, though. From yeah. me at 14, <laughs> me get twin. That, oh, from 14, you get twin? Yeah. Because that's how we live. We grow yeah. up big. Yeah. That's why people think me a big man, because you have to understand. So I grow up without a father. My mother and my father. And then it's just that. So when you had your first kid at 14. Yeah, and then them pass on. Oh, okay. It was a twin girl and boy. Yeah. Live for like three months. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, but two yeah. things are really rough, and yeah. I guess the mother never gets certain shot where the mother was supposed to get injection and them things. Oh, okay. Get me, I say. Yeah. So, and then yeah. me ended up getting my, my first son, Jaden. Jaden, the one we bring from the stage. Right? You feel 17. me? So, it, it, it dedication from them time there. Mm. And then there was this same youth name called Bugs Crime, which is Rhyme Minister. Yeah. It's like me, 
it's like I have a, a name in a Montego Bay from them time. We saw mm. him come from a neighboring community mm. and him have a name too. So we just link up and we start to do some music together. And get so to picture right at here. the time, I guess, to put it in a public perspective, you had a kid before at 14, but obviously them passed on. So yeah. Yeah. Then you have the, um, then yeah, yeah, Jaden Jaden at 17. So I guess it was a point where you're like, yo, you have a mode for feed and then yeah, you have responsibility. You have responsibilities. Yeah. And I guess at the time you was living what what mobile like, was you in Yeah man, the, man yeah. Be. So you did the on the roads and then there's something there. Yeah so man. What, what made you pick music over the streets then? That more I ask. What made because you have you know not everybody chooses. But I right may I tell us say, you see, most people don't understand. Once you're a dancer artist, you have to choose the street. So it's night. Like we never choose music over street. I just okay. see it. I just see If you run from music, you run from the street. If you run from the street, you run from music. Certain lifestyle then. All right. Certain lifestyle is is because of consequences and circumstances way beyond our control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's like it's because nice though. Huh? It nice, the life nice, being an artist. Yeah, because the reason why I ask is a lot of people come from certain environments and bound themselves to that environment. You get what I'm saying? True. Say, or oh, to them, they run. Like them say, you live by the gun, you die you by, die by the gun. But yeah. you make a, a conscious decision, and I've seen you say before in interviews, you say, yo, that is not the life that you particularly wanted for yourself, yeah. and you wanted to try make better elsewhere type of thing. Yeah. What was not a lot of people come to that conclusion. So why did you pick that for yourself? And the reason why I say that because enough artists still pick, pick up the dancer lifestyle yeah. and still want to carry the badness at the same time. No, man, I say, go, man, I'm not really badness, man. I just saw we live. We are dancer artists, and then yeah. you sing all of them songs, yeah, and you paint these pictures where people say, they, man, they are bad, bad, and rare, rare. So, yeah. more, I just want to keep up your thing and drop your street credibility. Yeah. But yeah. I am a person who believes in reputation more than street credibility. Yeah, reputation so, is important. Yeah, right? reputation is important. Yeah. You feel me? I say, say, moment, me keep me thing like this, uh, man up and be a man, and people can you know, say, oh, they are chipping them men, and they man, they think yeah. tough. You feel me? I say, you know, say, reputation never did in high street. Yeah. The man, yeah. they have a couple of songs on them belt, and him always keep work. Yeah. It's not like them, and they have to come mix up himself, and they have to drink with me, and sit down and chat people. Okay. For we see how they man, they are on the place. You feel so, me? I say? So, coming from the background and the upbringing, so we kind of shape that out. You have to do your Austin, you have to travel and re 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 day in the studio and so. What was the first introduction into the TJ artist career properly? Like, or you did get your first, who was the first person that you worked with that put you on first? Yeah. You know, say so you did they have a management first? What time yeah, did man, everything? What was the time all right, frame? Honestly, everything? as me I tell you, we bad long time. Yeah. From 2011, Tommy Lee called me on from stage. Tommy Lee called you from stage. Same, right? And then, yeah. as and you tell you, you did a remix with him on Dip. Yeah, as me tell you now, if you talk about Montego Bay, once you talk about TJ, Rhyme Minister, yeah. 9X Knowledge, you talk about Stars Plus. So everything start. Get my first youth, no Rhyme Minister. I would just start work together. I would start to be a bad song. I would just start sending them from out of Montego Bay. My first song that I heard from you was Owen Alien. All right, you just come to the camp. Yeah. Because I tell you, say, to me, you know. Yeah. Me boss long before Owen Alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But the one that caught my attention was Owen yeah, Alien was before Owen Alien. Back, you know, everything else because it was like, uh, to the vast majority, we could really relate to that song. You know, you're, I'm from Rags to Riches as well. That song as well because, you know, yeah, yeah but more that's 2018 struggle. still. Eh? I would say 2018, we really get the breakthrough as an artist with, um, Quite like said in the canvas. Yeah, that the Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. And then the same year, yeah. me have a follow up. Trying to go around the thing, trying to go, go around the thing. Yes, me yeah. I said. So Muda said. Yeah, Muda said that year there. I did the real year, the breakout year for TJ. Yeah. But the bus bus year, honestly, was drift. It was drift. Yeah, I swear to you, like with Unali and with Rockstar Riches. With all of them singing what we are singing. Mm. Even in a Jamaica, I used to go to gas station places. People used to see me and wonder if I teach you that. Yeah, no People used to see, see me and like, ask me is. <laughs> no, I know him. Yeah, yeah. Bro, honestly, I think it's Drake not a brag or boasting thing. I think 
at the time with the amount of publicity that drift got yeah, yeah that put the face to the name a lot that was the because you know not enough artists put out song but nobody know them face like that you get what i'm saying bro i don't know right now last night me there portland me yeah. i do a show and my car tint up and mm. unknown vehicle me i drive it's not like me a brother or boss or anything, yeah 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 to the respect of how we humble and how we treat people good and show mm -hmm. people love yeah i don't think me not understand how the police spot me and say yeah. tj that let him show <laughs> Yeah, because your face is not very recognizable. I swear to you, it's like, yeah. no, even, I'm right, telling you, oh, all my feet like a bust now. Yeah, oh, you see? <laughs> when I walk through a first world country. And people are calling you. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. That is a nice pull up. Yeah. Canada, you know, yeah. I'll be an Indian people in yeah. Canada, right? Yeah. See? Very different mix. And the lady, people, the lady right? say, I know you. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was like, what do you mean? She was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, shit. Was like, <laughs> I was like, oh shit, yeah, that's me. Yeah. Like, I know. I was telling my friends, I know this guy. Yeah. And then even in America, from a pull-up now, from certain immigration officer working who know about our culture, who know about Jamaican music, mm -hmm. they'll be like, yo, I know you. Yeah. Say, yeah, man. Say, you that Jamaican guy, that drift guy. Yeah, drift say, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, drift. Really and show also, me with Drift, and I like say you have no big, you never, you don't have no big collab or anything like that. It no, was just it you. was just me bring the song yeah. itself. It was just it's not and like then you. And then one of the time I figure out say yo, some little vibes that are going on. It's like we own people them did a try kill the song to. You own people them? Yeah, like we own dance hall people. Oh, yeah. Forget me. I don't know. I, I fight. I dance hall. This. Yeah. I'm music. I want to really talk about I'm that. I'm music. I'm music. Yeah. Music, you get me. I say, in everything, we get fights here. You get me. Mm -hmm. I say, but we never complain because the song reach where it's supposed to reach, and all our play a part in it, yeah. we appreciate them. Same way, you get me. I say, all right, let's get to the nitty gritty, then, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. So, you say you're both around 2018, on the same time you meet Ramesh, right? Yeah. I know that you guys, no man, Ramesh send with a road. We can't hide that, <laughs> we can't sit on right there. So, uh, fair enough, deny that Ramesh boss TJ, yeah, whether we like it or not. You feel me? I say, I will not go deny that. And Ramesh said, we think I run, man, because here we go on. We have the song, yeah. but if Ramesh never followed and say, you, we structure down the thing, send the thing on road, and print up with face past some bus around town, mm -hmm. because Ramesh did already have an organized and a steady something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Camp. Yeah, yeah. It's set. I'll Only thing we need is one. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I will say this, that he does have his thing together. Yeah, man. Type. Can't grow up. And initially, where I saw the initial link up when we did that, I know, see, I work with Ramesh Entertainment. Yeah. It looked like happy times, innit? Yeah. What changed for you? Or what kind of... What was the, the pinnacle changing moment to where things was just like, okay, you know, you know, really want to be a side, you know, things just now work out. No, nah, man, I just, COVID shut down the world and everybody restart. Okay. So, well, I would just get caught up and we go and so go and so on. We just had a way to go and heal each other, see each other, see me. Yeah, see me. I'll show me, I'll show me. 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 circumstances and things. Man. Because people would have it say, just to be quite blunt, people would have looked funny and say, some people say, him mm -hmm. did have too much artists and him not really pay you the attention where you're no, supposed more to say that. No, more to say that. More to no. say that. But I don't know things happen and we make, we make use of it, the good yeah. times. And the greatest thing, nobody has any me where I go, he even see a man over this earth, a man and walk past that. You get me? I yeah. Say? Yeah, because we don't have nothing the same way. Isn't because right? I, and I like, well, I'm not trying to push any mix up or anything like that. It's just a main case where we've seen it before in this space where some people take up management. And not to say, not every management is for them. It's not like say, oh, the manager are dealing with them that type of way, but not every manager knows how to deal with every single type of talent. You know what I'm saying? Or because them have a Walipa talent and the roster type of thing, them, them can't allocate specific time. And with you, I would say that. You're very versatile. You, you can you give a lot type of thing. You can do the dancing. You bring forth the girls, some them, the man, some them, island type or something there. So from from time to time, you could have, everybody have it say, oh, him care like does he have too much on his plate? Was he able to rare, rare, rare? And then obviously in the crash, he said, yeah, drop a bomb room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of drop a yeah. bomb for the entertainment. <laughs> you know, no. Yeah, let me call it a lot. Because he good, he good. He good. Entertainment good. Yeah, man. Entertainment, entertainment good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Oh, Sharon, come and change up with him. Well, I just see. Believe enough to explain. Sure. Yeah. Because me and me, Sharon, the other day, I, mean, I just looked at her and I said, yo, the woman smiley, smiley. She's got a good vibes and stuff like that. But obviously, where you had your 
issues before with whatever it was of entertainment. What made you trust her with your career? Well, I guess Sharon is a good manager. Mm. I never just need, I never needed just a manager. Okay. I needed a family. A family. I, the, the, um, the age mm. was one of the most things that things stuck that, out to you. Yeah, when we pray, like, she's a, she's a respectful lady. Yeah, she is. You feel me, I say? Yeah, she And is. she understands the business. Yeah, she has an extensive. You, know, you feel me? Yeah. That's what I need. I don't need somebody who who's trying to learn the business right now to manage DJ after okay. going on my own or going independent. You feel me, I say? Yeah. Yeah, because you just left from a structure camp. Why would you even want to go into a... Like, just tell my friends, say, yo, yeah. answer the phone when people call you and take bookings. Nah. Yeah. What were some of the key changes that Sharon told you to make in order to see the transformation in your career? Well, with Sharon, it's always about marketing and networking. Okay. Yeah, Sharon believe in networking. Sharon believe in marketing, promotion. Sharon believe in the old school way. Yeah. Which, of going out there, the groundwork. Yeah, the groundwork, which mm. we, can't, we cannot go around the groundwork. Yeah, yeah. Because absolutely. even at times you'll find some buzzing song on TikTok and people know the song but they don't know your face. Yes. Yeah. You feel me That's been one of the biggest issues in yeah. dance song. Yeah. Yeah, them know the music. Artists are stream high. Yeah. But like I said, the reason why I even went to because you've been able to put a face to the yeah, music. Tap in. And then international and then also because open I think them. the reason why most most of us didn't get that experience or that exposure is because we we never we didn't have everybody to to, to, to take us in all uh, these rooms that Sharon could yeah, yeah, make yeah. TJ. You get me, I say? Yeah. Because Sharon, Sharon, Sharon bring me in some room where never know if we could have reached in them room by myself with yeah. these, all these type of Grammy people, these type of people, you feel me, I say? Even Sharon bring me in some room for me to understand so the Grammy had nothing to do about how much copy you sell yeah. or rare, rare, rare. It had to do people. about voting. Yeah. Had to do about people from the Grammy who know that name, just like how TJ song is viral on TikTok, as yeah. they say, and we can when they play it and say TJ and here, da 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 I say, Oh, I know this song. My, my kids love this song. I'm gonna vote for this song. Yeah. I saw you win the Grammy. Yeah. What are some things that you didn't know before that you learned with Sharon? Timing. Okay. Timing and um cheat code. Okay. Because if it wasn't for Sharon, I wouldn't know about cheat code, which was said by Funk Flex. What's the cheat at code? Hot Night. They said, well, right, that cheat code is when a DJ just have to play that song. Oh, okay. You feel me? So like, yeah. you reach work and your boss asks you, yo, why is this song not in the playlist? Everybody on TikTok is using listening to it. Yeah. Everybody, the world is listening to the yeah. song. So when I heard that, I went back to the studio. And I was you know, like, hmm. Because during, during that time, I think I saw online that you was going through a hard time, right? Yeah. And like you said, you was looking for a family type thing. Yeah. How do you think, what was the lead up to you meeting Sharon? And then when did it click for you that this, things were kind of going to change? Because... Well, well, I have a friend who knew Sharon's son. Okay. He's Big 12. Okay. Big 12, but how are you would see him, and he read the thing, so we we'll link up more while and like, you know, we are bridging, so we want some reason and they show you say, yo, we just show you some prayer and thing. I said, nah, that just don't make no sense. It just don't add up. Yeah. Like you are TJ. You feel me? I said, yeah. I understand not what you're Do you know that you're TJ? Sometime. Okay. You see what I say? We'll get there, but, so, continue. but anyway, <laughs> I saw he must say, nah man, that can't write. Yeah. I saw him make a link to Sharon. Sharon. Yeah. I said, mommy. When you manage my friend, you get me? I say, yeah. Sharon, I say, all right, promise I wouldn't manage no more dance all artists. Kind of mm. vibes got to chop off Sharon. Make yeah, sure yeah. I have to pay a tax on all these things yeah. back then in a them time. Yeah. You know, I say, so, um, I said, she don't really want to do the dance all artists okay, thing. Okay. She want to that alone. She just want to promote some. You know, she still mm. manage, she still do booking for Barrington, Levy, Shaggy, all uh, these top people, same way. So, it better mm. she just do she because Sharon never have to manage DJ. You feel me? I said? Yeah. So it's like she start manage DJ, bring me up on the road. The first time she bring me up on the road was BT. 
Okay. Sharon into some people. Yeah. They were like, oh my God, this is Sharon, the lady of Jamaica. She yeah. she was the first person who bring, brought us to Jamaica. Jamaica and yeah. Did you know how respected she was in the no, industry? No, trust before? me. You didn't know? Trust okay, me. You know that. Know. Okay, you didn't know. And Sharon was like, oh, <laughs> this is my artist, TJ. He's the yeah. hottest thing in Jamaica. And they was like, who were the, who's the hottest thing in Jamaica? I don't know him. I but mean, she did push her thing. Yeah, but she had push it. it yeah. Even when I say, oh, Sharon, no. Not tell nobody about yeah. me at this thing in a Jamaica. But wait, a shame so me. You, wouldn't you say that's the same thing that you did? The whole manifestation thing. Right? Yeah. You know, don't you think that's the same thing that she was doing? He's the hottest thing out of Jamaica, like speaking it. Not only did she believe yeah. it, but yeah, she was yeah, so, speaking it. But you don't know at the time because of yeah. oh, it, it's easy for she me up. Okay. Yeah, man, me easy for she me. I out where we know that show pride and with dignity. You get mm. me? I say. I feel how yes, at least like I think some people say, well, we feel all that we are. Yeah. Meds are man, so. Yeah. May I tell Sharon, so just allow that right yeah. now, because then my money, I tell her, point blank, say, you don't know this, man. Yeah. <laughs> I tell yeah. me about this, man, <laughs> at this thing from Jamaica. Yeah. You see me? And I say, yo, but, and then like, you'd have one and few people who pull me aside and say, yo, don't feel away, bro. It's like, just keep working. You feel me? It's but no, when I'm in LA, bro, everybody know who TJ is. Anyway, we pull up like people know. For me, I say every artist, any artist who want to link with them, know the Talk thing. about that part because I don't think you realize you're an example for what a lot of these artists in Jamaica are on what they're trying to achieve, right? And when they meet with people that have experience, a lot of them aren't humble enough and aren't wise enough to drop their pride and their ego in order to take listening from somebody that's not in the yes Sharon can do marketing we know she can do this but she's not an artist we can't sing and stuff like that so was it hard for you to drop your ego and say yo Sharon I really don't know what I'm doing or I don't know what no I'm it to was that. hard because listen first of all I drop out of school from seventh grade you know no not all I always want to learn bro. I always want to learn something new so I'm always observing people and listening so I can learn new words new things new meaning Mm. You feel me? So because in a school alone teach me, you know, bro. Life teaches yeah, you. Your life a teaches student. you a lot of lessons. Yeah. And once you're willing to open your vocabulary so you can learn new things, you are gonna reach far. Mm. Because it never takes me a minute to say, sure, do I do? Because yeah. if you if me feel like oh me I show out up that bus, practice riches and oh when we go Caribbean country, everybody jump for me, but yeah. we reach in a this big place and you yeah, tell people, say, TJ, the artist thing, and they tell us, no, no, I don't <laughs> know him. So, yeah. hearing that, it just pushed me more, it just yeah. boots me more. Was you Fem ever fearful that you would incur the same issues? Obviously, we don't know what you went through, obviously, with Ramesh, right? But was you ever scared, that, or just management on the whole? Did you, was you ever fearful that you was going to incur the same issues again? With Sharon, because again, everything's as a chance. As you say, nothing at all, not really up and still. I mean, just don't want the people them have it like that, like nothing at all. I mean, just management on the whole. Yeah, the management on that whole. No, yeah. because uh, I learned the game. Mm. I learned the game and I learned it the hard way. Yeah. You feel me, I say? So as, as, as long as manager understand business from mm. friendship, I'm good with that. What about the timing part? Because... During the process of when Sharon took it on, right? Yeah. There was a time where you had to obviously, I think I saw before, there's a time where you had to dial back on certain things. Yeah. Was you ever anxious during that time? Because a lot of people yeah, said them after, go, 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 yeah, go. Man. What yeah, was, man. yeah. Yeah, man. It, Can it, you have your pit exactly it, it, Yeah, it's an ego thing, but at some time, we have to just stand for something. Yeah. At the time, most people that look at me and tell me, like, 6,000 years for a show. Not like nothing wrong with that or thing. Yeah, it's a starting place. It's a place, starting thing, but at the time where TJ was sharing, feel like, nah, say, you're mad. Yeah. Well, easy yourself, man. Just go put in the work, man. You see me? And we've been there to find some other song in between, like, people, being mm. kind. Yeah, and yeah. Them the song that me nah, like them song that I forget to, you know. <laughs> and most of them songs, I'm going to learn the game and start produce the song with myself, yeah. so find out that you are producing money can feed the youth them same way oh wait talk about that quickly wait because people don't know about that you you produce your own music and then there's something there so it's not just like your voice but you, you make your own beats yeah I'm not really make my own beat but oh. make sure i'm a part of production yeah you're very so, involved in the creative because process, yeah most artists don't know that if a producer doesn't pay you you own that sound or if a producer don't pay you, you own yeah that sound? you didn't give me a, a, a advance bro 
Okay. Is it me I say? I never know that. Yeah, and then we sign a contract. So once we oh, sign okay. a contract, it's like a master and thing. How me I go to the label with them master? How me I go get deal? Yeah. Producer can't get deal for me. Yeah, yeah. You feel yeah. me I say? Is working with producers hard as an artist? Say that again. Working with producers is that hard? Is that a hard thing to do as no. an artist? No. no. Okay. No. Because so, you find out every artist build them one producer now. Mm. Or every producer try to build them one artist. Yeah. You feel me? So, so that we are we are no man now feeling no mix up. So it good and it bad because you find out say as much unity not really in the thing again. Yeah. Because everybody do them thing. Every man do them thing. So let's talk about the unity part then. Where where do you feel like dance is it at right now? Well, what am I, what am I to say? We don't really find You're finger. a part of it. Like, where do you think dancehall's at now, the space? Well, me, I'm a fucked up person. <laughs> Overall. Like, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> like, me, we just rate you and just get up and hate you tomorrow. Because you just fuck up and you don't even realize where you do. And me take loyalty. It's too serious where we feel like we're big people now. And my son is going to be 12-year-old. When I feel okay. try to repeat over something to you. And yeah. if you get it, say, bro, we I get old. Yeah. Money time now, and you get what I say? Yeah. So, I try to steer away from that negative vibes as, as, as much, much as, as I possible. can, bro. You get me? So, you really find out that I don't mean, really have much friend, otherwise, from a friend. Yeah, where you're, where you're part of the day. Yeah, one, if I don't have an entertainer friend, I'm okay. Like, yeah. You get me? So, I'm good. Facilitating friendships in the industry, I know that hasn't been an easy thing for you. Um, well, it's an easy thing for me, you know, bro, because you have some youth who are naturally rating the music. Yeah, you are some of those people. Because people often say, you know, you're not. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like. With me, no. Because all right. You, it's on, like, it's yeah. on a way, but I tell anybody, say, yo, I know I don't need to go for them a long time. Yeah. Like, them you can the turn up and reason with TJ anytime. Yeah. You get me, I say, we, we listen to them. Trust yeah. me. You see me, I say, me yeah. even cool with Masika same way because it turns out to be that Masika son and my son are best friend at school. So, oh, okay. it's like, a link even bigger than music, yeah, bro. You feel me? I said, we're not going to do that, Sam. Yeah. get me? I said, who's some of your inspirations for music? Well, my inspiration, them, as I tell you, my brother, them, and I grew up, I see okay. them, and they really inspired me for the music. Was it ever caught? I mean, you know, say you didn't have respect for me. Yeah, but you guys, no, did listen, a, you guys did a song. I have respect for every dance artist yeah. because I don't know, we come see the youth, we come see the, the, the God, them, I do it before we. Yeah. You get me? I said, yeah. we look up to them. Okay. Trust me, me look up to every dance artist. And you know one thing I'm gonna do? Like when we left Jamaica, no matter what we have here, so I so once we left Jamaica, I yeah, me make sure so I go now we go talk bad boy, no dance mm -hmm. artist, I'm gonna talk done for them. And mm -hmm. only part time we hear some things with some man say about we because them go around girls and say some things and them not understand say them yeah. girls are linked with everybody in the killer. Okay. You feel me I say? Yeah. And then so, and you got ear back And then you hear it back. So we just so when some people feel like TJ and I have friends, we do have friends. Yeah. But I rather you paint a picture of saying shit about me more than just come around me and try to feel like you can take advantage of my thing or feel like you can. Let's go there. Say? Do you think you're appreciated as an artist? A lot. You think Dance Hall appreciates you? A lot. You do? A lot. Okay. So why do you keep fighting with people then? I saw people would have put it. All I mean, right. I so. All right. Tell me where me ever fight with people. Like, I know the truth in it, but we're getting it out in the internet. No, but so all people, right. Like what you say. All right. Like, like that's what I say a while ago, say. I feel like people just paint a picture about you when they don't know you. Okay. Yeah. You see what I say? Because you feel like, say, just because I'm not going to suck a link with you and you don't know nothing no, about me, you're always Jamaican state. Mm. Remember, we don't know that man the dead run this, you know? Yeah. I've turned up right as an attack right now, we are saying, you know, so I feel like that thing, though, and yeah. that thing, though. And at that them do, and at that him go on with. Yeah. So, you see, the music game right now is a big Chinese telephone. Yeah, Chinese. And here say, yeah, and here yeah, say, yeah, and here yeah, say, because yeah. you are going. Yeah. If me did not tell you some things of me here say. Yeah. You are gonna work with it. You feel what I say? Not true. So I just here say I go on because all right, all right. Mm -hmm. TJ love fight with people. Who TJ even fight with? Okay. They, they, all right. Let's. Well, all right, th this year, you had one of the biggest clashes, right? Yeah. Aside from Jada Kingdom and Steph London, yeah. you, and, you and Valiant just come take it over. But way. why? But why? <laughs> why? That one, why? Because 
I am tell her how I'm pray life. I say because yeah, remember, I'm just tell her some respect every artist, though. No? Yes. So that simple means say, mm. all all the respected artists them like bad artists where no bad artists. Oh, you know, you see them on TJ and no? See it? You know, see a song. You know, popcorn, you know. Popcorn, you idiot, brother. <laughs> you're afraid to say that, brother. That may I try to show you, say, people who don't show respect. Come. People who don't show me respect, I'm just not going to yeah, show you none. Yeah, that's the way of life. A country, I come from, yeah, bro. Me a be a man, bro. Yeah. So but you know, they like, kiss nobody ass either. No, so if you don't respect me, I don't respect you. And yeah. the next man, where you call him, I'm not idiot, too. I want camp, I come from. That's the man, bro. So it's just like, man, I try to show you, say, bro. All I people them where you say me love fight with that people where disrespect me. No, you know? me, you know. Me just, me just, no, me like all I people them <laughs> where people say. Yeah. Cause remember we have our fans to bro. Yeah. Cause music is fan base. Yeah. You yeah, see me yeah, I say? Yeah, we build yeah. with numbers of people too. So and all of them people, yeah. All of them people yeah, are people who always have something to say where they no need for say, bro, where you can just make it slide. At a point where is it? Was it just mainly entertainment and it kind of switched into more personal matters because we know some No, nah, bro, it was, about... it was bitchy feelings. Okay. Some artists, all right, when we just come out town, somebody did feel like we've assigned to them. And we oh. never depend on that. We never depend on pick side in our music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the next one, now, where you send me and him have the biggest clash of that town. Them, you, they respect you, ground with TJ Walk, but. That the clash of you could, it gave me. He went for the old time tune. It was my, it was yeah, all right. With that clash, it was an entertainment thing. Okay. I get me, I say. Yeah. It was, me still did feel ignorant about it, situation still, but me never really approach it as a person who some me have a see a man and we have a man. Yeah, you talk so you go hard for it. You, you oh, did then, very well though, but then, you, you, brother, you, some you, things you, 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 you cartel <laughs> talk about, about one tickler. Yeah, I'm over the I'm over the top of both vibes can't tell. Like, Why, brother? Of course, we see we really see we see you, man. Actually, we we not pick side, you know, people. We not pick my side, but we just say, oh, man, we may listen to TJ. We say, yo, no, TJ. it's not about picking TJ side, brother. Take, but take place, you know, man, right. bro, yeah. me it's just a different youth, dog. It's yeah. like if you're not right, me, me just not right, bro. Simple. Yeah, I'm really in a business. Who say you? So then, feel me? What happened yeah. at some fest? Because let's clear up that that was the most recent thing. I was there yeah. and stuff like that. But it looked like so there was a bit of a situational deal backstage. Yeah. And the media said it was you and Valiant that had a problem. Is that no true? son of me and Valiant? Me and Valiant. Oh. Me and Valiant them have no problem like that. So where does the pussy Valiant come from? <laughs> <laughs> it's just that a draft where I play a chess where I play Valiant the past some prestige the past some first time. That's what they are saying. I'm just gonna sing my song, them. You say so pussy, so you know, man. The everybody drop. You want to see something? So everybody jar, just drop. Yeah. And then you send for DJ. All right. What's the current standing with you and DJ, man? Then. Remember saying, no? Yeah. The man and him, we are linked up, but you know, mm. I entertainment them. I come from it. That's what I was just about to say. Even even say, well, I was just. About come to like this, someone and I look into why my question and why my ask me right now. Everybody went to DJ Love Big Fight. I always the people them from the entertainment. I want to tell us something. And this is very serious. And I think this is something that we all should teach or show people. You need enemy, bro. Okay. Like, let me, let me, let me hear this. Everybody, everybody always tell you, oh, yeah, man, him humble, him this, him that. And the same people, them, we tell us you're humble, always try to on this, yeah, bro. Okay. Sometimes you really have to show people your true color at, at, at this at certain point in life, make them really understand. Say, bro, nah, bro. Nah, because listen, you say you've been listening to TJ from Onerlin, right? Yeah. So I simply mean from Onerlin days, 2018, that TJ yeah. been an humble person. So obviously, them people that do TJ, something make TJ come talk on mine. No. Feel so. So the public yeah. I mean, yeah. I want everybody to tell me about how, oh, yeah, man, a youth are humble and a youth are good youth, and I take me for pussy be on me back at the same time, bro. You yeah, see yeah, me, yeah, I say? Yeah. Like, someone of you tell me some ignorant man. Someone of you tell me some dark. Someone of you be my enemy because you are one. The only way you can be my enemy you know, if you is an enemy. You know. Because if, if, if you say something and me tell you something, you know. mm. if you rate me that much, you're supposed to say, oh, God, no chip, you know, say, a real talk, and you never figure son. We two we can understand each other. You know. mm. But in the moment, you prove to me, say, all right, me a bully too, you know. Me mm. a bully, you, bro. Because. No, I mean, I say if you take disrespect, you know, that, that's not what I'm saying. Is that 
somebody that's observed and has gone through the fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You've worked very hard for where you're at. And yes, everybody, wait, well, now, let me finish. Everybody, yeah. yes, some people do need, and sometimes you, you need to make people know, say, yes, I'm humble, but I can be a drunker as well. I get yeah, it. Because yeah, yeah. you'd rather be a drunker than a pushover. I get that. Yeah. But where now, you have now set certain things. You, you've changed a lot. You're not in that space anymore. You're not just a dancehall artist. You're an international artist now. Yeah. You've got certain things going for you. You've met, you've managed to change your life around. Even at some first performance. Let's talk about that. You brought your son out on the stage. Bro, you've broken a generational curse right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're making a better life for yourself. You're picking them now. Struggle like, and you're not struggle. You're picking them like one time and then there's something there. You've got a good manager behind you. A lot of things that people wish that they could have and things that you wish you could have as a child, you've now gone out there and gotten. So why do you feel like you still have to go and argue with these people? Nah, man, we still have to put one of them places because you wanna. <laughs> nah, let's go. Nah, nah, man, nah, you, nah, you wanna. Go. Over the years, <laughs> all right, remember, I'm an hardcore dancer artist. Yeah. And any one of these gentlemen can tell you, over the years, music is a battle, bro. Yeah, yeah. Dancer yeah. music is a battle from Beady Man to Bone to Killer. From Movado to Vibes Cartel. Yeah. You get me? I say, yeah, yeah, because as I tell you, we might not know what go on half year, right? That's so. You might not know if TJ and the artist did a link good or what really cast that break up. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, I say, bro, yeah. I know, man, that you really decide to chat him and them just feel like, wow, yeah, man. Yeah. You see me? That call, lack of communication and respect man, at certain time. Mm. So, as me, I tell you, me as an artist, I respect every artist. So, if me feel like you don't respect me and the comments them where you make about me just not right, bro. Because look at this, bro. Even the next one, Byron a liar. Remember that man literally tweet for them things that TJ for the sake mother. And then when TJ get up and thought, why this man and no people gonna say TJ bully? Bro, this man just this way. Everything alright with the camera? Oh, okay. Bro, this man just this way a while ago, bro. Literally yeah. from the internet, from the media. I you know come from here. Message. So here what we go take up his power head. Yeah. Because we are a war munga, but as me I tell you, bro, we are warrior, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, just like yeah. Vikings, bro. You get yeah. me? I say, bro, I respect that. You yeah. see me? So if you respect me, fam, my go just always be that dirty dog shit. All right, me. but let me tell you something then. Car, remember, I said, all right, this, this, this could be the case. Anyone can walk out and cuss you and true, them don't say you're going to respond. Yeah. No, I'm not going to respond to anybody. Oh, okay. I'm not going to respond to anybody. Okay, fair enough. You see me? Yeah. I will never do that. But I can respond to you mm. if you feel like say just because you arise, I have some people I listen to you and then my boots up your head. But then do you not feel like you always be in a cycle of trying to prove yourself? Do you feel like it's hard to prove yourself? No, it's nothing about proof self, bro. It is dance and music where if you don't pay respect to general boy, we're gonna put it in your place. It's just a thing, bro. It it allow me to tell me, General. Yeah, true. No, you can't. Then, oh, me now, let me ask you a question. Me now, mm. we cross bridge come here so from B. Mm. Work so hard, bad yeah, man. This is what I've been saying. Go turn up right here, so. Yeah. And this a little boy, I just go show you up here, so. Because you feel like, say, you have 2,000 people over there, so we work with you on Instagram now and TikTok when you jiggle up yourself, so. Yeah. And they must say, yeah, we like you, right, right, right. Yeah. We as general work so hard for you to turn up and make them a little punk, you just go on this way, right, so. Okay, but then. Fam, we can't sleep no, now, Remember, say, well, I'm a brother. We have to understand another brother. We have to understand another brother. My son is 12 year old, bro. Yeah. My son is going to school, bro. Oh, okay. There's no way your little son can go to school and in front of my time. And I say, man, this up your father last night. Your pa fool, you have to remember, say. Them things they get youth emotional breakdown in a school too, you know. Yeah, fair. When a son can tell us, say, Daddy, yeah. when I'm this me for school today and tell me, say, you're a fool, you know. And that man, they, this and that man, they, that. Bro, reputation, that is the same thing I've been telling you about. I can't drop that. No boy right. can't drop that. So remember, you know, did I ever feel like responding does more harm than good? Or what about, like, you know, when certain white faces get involved, as in, like, you know, the, when, we, when we move Bro, past. White faces love war. Our oh, war, our oh, war, right now. Motivate the biggest war in our, in our history, Drake and fucking Kendrick. Our oh, war do that. So happened, true. That's a fair. Our war do that, bro. That's so a fair. sometime when you yeah, feel like, oh, yeah, it can arm point. you, it can also build you. Okay, that's a fair. Because point. look into what you are telling me now. Vibes got and I'm over to fight the greatest war mm. ever in our history. School split, Gully and Gaza. Did you know that? Yeah. Over the past years, most of the dancers sang. Most of the dancers' songs are my boss big for young youth them for the past, what would I say, four or five years or so. A gunman sang them. 
Think about it good. Yeah, Internationally. International. Think about it good. Think about it. When I was in the UK, what was I listening to? Crocodile teeth, to... bro. On a dome grammy. All right, fair enough. Come on, bro. Yeah, Come but, on, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 no, Come on, bro. Though. Come on, bro. Over the years. Over the years. Dance all music when break out worldwide has to do with badness. Think about it. I'm mean, not tell you about female or Rasta artists or culture artists. I'm mean, tell you right, about, talk about the man them dance artists, hall artists, artists. The man them. Yeah. Some of the biggest art. Let's say some of the biggest songs from dance hall music has to do with violence. Yes, yeah, some of. Some of. Some of, yeah. Me a bad man. Yeah. Killer. But I'll say more of the really songs bit. have been taking it as of recent though. Like for for example, Rex yeah, but have my point is when I really I try to get here is my yeah. boss. It is dance and music, me can't change it. Yeah. Yeah. Most yeah. artists live for street credibility. Mm. Most artists live for reputation. You see what I say? For. Yeah, mainly for reputation. Okay. Is it? Fair enough. Yeah, like you have to remember it in your head. So if you really go things, so you go worry, TJ. You will your friend and put it so dog, love that alone, man. Well, you know, think, all right, at this point, I right, move from all of that, because we don't go about oh, why you did it and why you're doing it now. Yeah. Do you feel like you've now shown that you can do it and you can't put it on I still blah, blah, blah. never stop. Bro. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it next man who come mad and I feel like setting <laughs> tough. Well put it in your place, my father. I just say enough. enough. But you know, I feel like some people just touch a car and just call them and say you can't touch a car. No, man, we no, know who you know, for putting like, at them place. No, but me, me, we, me, me, all right, here we are. Like here we are. As a king, this, you know, you, you know, you ever watch the Viking movies and them yeah. things? As a king, we know the king, the other work, the other kingdom where we figure fight. Yeah. We know that. I so I like say anybody can get up because we actually, if anybody could have just get up and say something, I would just answer. Would have been out of that every day, bro. Me black people more than me answer people. Okay. Honestly, fear. Like, if me just go up on my Instagram and you just sit on my DM like me black you. I mean, I restrict your page to so. Yeah. When so you're really next <laughs> one, you can't even find me, bro. I feel me. Black yeah, yeah, so everything black. Yeah. May I be honest with you, but if you're true, if you notice the people them owe me, oh me and them like yeah. have that little fiction there. Yeah. And some of them really keep it musical with us. Some of them me just talk my mind. You see me? And mm. if you notice from other day. If you, if you be honest right now, about seven months now, I'm going to go up on live and, and talk for even nah, five yeah, minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because most of the things that I'm used to go up on live, I talk. I realize that people don't really understand and people just believe what they want to believe. That's what I was trying to have. Just like how I wake up and I say, say, me and that man, they have big war or something. So I wonder where this come from. Yeah. And a man in a war or something. So I pass and see a security a beat up a man. Oh. <laughs> see a security a beat up a man. And, we hear say that man, the friend, I get beat up and we go perform. And then they hear say that TJ, I'm in a war. Can so, you say so positive? <laughs> no, I don't matter. I show you say, people just paint a picture with them. Oh, paint. Understand, yeah. me, bro. You see, this side that we're seeing right now to TJ, the calm, very, very, very. Do you not feel like sometimes the negativity overshadows who you really are sometimes when you're paying that attention? Because I think people are struck, like people don't, are not really seeing the two sides of you. That's the problem. People aren't seeing both sides. They see what because obviously we know some mix up and jam I get the most views. But this is why I wanted to have the interview now for people. But to man, see I really do mix up and jam. No, not the mix up and jam. You know me, I say. Not you know so much. No, like, man. Trust me. But that side that always been out there. That side that always been out there, bro. No way you talk your story to. No way I really hear about yeah. that story. But I'm telling you now from a fan perspective. Yeah. And abroad, we didn't know the backstory to you, where you came from, and yeah, yeah. like the reason behind certain things. And, and just you explained it in this interview perfect. You yeah. come back from road days, so you know, say so road code, I got stopped certain disrespect, and then yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So now them understand, say, where your answer to people are just so you grow. And I like say, oh. No, I really said me grow up, like. <laughs> no, I just. Yeah, I don't really <laughs> say me grow up. No, I don't, don't say, I don't really like something grow up, but. I just. It's just a tech bullshit, bro. Yeah. You see me, like, even if me low you for too long, like, there is, it's going to be a day when I go just speak up, bro. Like, nobody yeah. take, like, bro, all I wake up, I got overflow. Like, yeah. you can do this and say as much things where you want to say about me, I'm just there and just hold that and know This is what nobody wants to say, I'm just a be me. Mm. But, bro, you got to have that day there where you just wake up on a bad day and I told them I feel like 
me not nah take that. And I'm that type of person, bro, where me just make everything slide and slide till the perfect day that I go. Yeah, just yeah, tell them my mind, bro. Yeah, right, so, yeah. And when me tell them my mind, you go hear say TJ this, and TJ that. Yeah. But yeah. me rather work with that. So before I saw that you said you was on a journey to wealth and stability, where are you at now with that? I'm good. You're good? Okay. Yeah, and in terms of your career-wise, where you're hoping to take it, what is more left for you? Do you, do you feel like it's still out there for you a to lot. do what you... Yeah. A lot is there to do, isn't it? I forget more popular, more famous. I want to ask you, what gets you through the times where, I know in the past you've seen a couple of people drop out and stuff like that. What gets you through the times of stagnancy and, you know, like you say, you come from rags to riches or on that journey to... Yeah. What keeps you going? Because we know say, the road isn't just a Yeah, man, studio journey. vibes and the youth, them. I always in the studio, I'm yeah. always with me youth, them, most of the time. But just most of the time, I always like a vice song. Mm -hmm. Just because my vice myself as an engineer, see me. So most of the time, I just always a vice. Just wake up every day and just vice. Just keep that vibe in the yeah, studio yeah. and let out all of the vibes them. You so know, that's your music. stress reliever. That's yeah. it. Yeah, okay. yeah I'm not really trying to keep stress either. Okay. Because if my stress. Nothing now I get done. You yeah. feel me? I say you with them be the same way. Things are for do, whole heap of things we have for do. Yeah. Where they don't know food have to put on the table the same way. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. someone really stay stressed. Are you content with how far things have come? Like do you feel proud yeah, of yourself? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Proud, proud, proud. proud. Yeah, because you should be. Yeah, man. Trust me. Yeah, you should proud. be. Because remember, some people dream, but not a lot of people have the strength to take action. Yeah, enough and see people it never really turn the dream into reality. Exactly. And you've been able to do that. You know what I mean? And not just like, see, I come out there and I lick out and I try. You know, you've done it in different forms. Even before the clashing, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, you man. took the long way there. You took the fame. I'm going to allow the clashing for you, too, you know. Huh? Yeah, man, I'm going to allow the clashing. Yeah, 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 man. The next yeah. boy I call up on here will just see my box in the <laughs> We nah, don't clash him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no. But I know you think because more look at me and tell you say you've genuinely come far. From, you've, you've come, I just want you to leave from this interview knowing you've yeah. come far, you've done a lot, you've done a lot for the culture, you're now an international artist. You know, I have a follow-up yeah. certain people like before you. Nah, know, man, but and more and tell you honest truth, yeah, otherwise I'm really running it, joke, yeah. getting ignorant. Yeah. Honestly, would I never ever like Proof it. Earth a dancer artist. No, I know that you don't. Earth a producer that, yeah, or none yeah, of them yeah, things. Yeah, they are yeah. entertainment. You yeah, see me? Yeah. But you don't know most time fans get it twisted and thing and think yeah. my turn sideways between my team or your team. But yeah. I always have that thing that when I tell my G, them say, yo, if we can walk far from some man over the road, walk far from them. Yeah. If things happen, things happen. And just life. Okay. You see me? But otherwise, from that, when I really get up with the, inten the intention to say, oh, we have hurt them and the car, them and the style, we have them and them. Yeah. No, nothing like that. I swear to you. Okay. So me, a music and I love the same way. We might get dark. All right. You have to understand. That's just how we grow, bro. It's yeah. like we rate people. I rate everybody. So, yeah. the moment to show you some love. And you know what? You know, you know, receive the shit. Yeah, yeah man, I understand that still. What feel are we, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, just me that yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. So you have to take, you wear your heart on your sleeve. And yeah, I, and, and I know everybody, like, yeah. I know everybody who feel like, say, yeah, yeah. TJ ignorant. That's why I mean, just love the media alone, bro. Yeah. I realize, say, most time I see like them posts or something, and I say, eh, hey, you're supposed to TJ come respond. Respond mm -hmm. to who? Your mother? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, me, yeah, I say? Yeah. Respond to who? What you take me for? Yeah, like, you yeah. feel like me a clown, though. You feel like me a yeah. idiot, though. Me just laugh and make me feel like, say, yo, look, yeah, you can't take. Yeah. You said 2024 was going to be your year. Where you at with that now? Um, it is a great year for me so far. Yeah. I've achieved a lot. Um, Number nine on the reggae oh, billboard chart. I'll come a bit louder for me, man. I said number, number nine, nine for the reggae <laughs> billboard chart. I don't yeah. know, Fortnite. Yes. So I feel like the run with Drift, for me, did a lot. It did a lot. Yeah. yeah. Anything now for the song is the song to grow on itself yeah. and do what it can do on itself. And let's talk about you putting on younger artists as well because I know that you have a special spot for people on the come up and stuff. You did a song with Enhance. Yeah. You also brought him out on the stage during the time that he was going through quite a bit as well. Why was that important for you? Well, we did need the breakthrough the same way as a youth where a DJ from so long and my, my first time coming to Kingston, Jamaica and my own as an artist was 2017 and when it really hard, bro. I still the floor was sleep and yeah. you feel me I say, so How about them the time because like, people people just see the glamour and the glitz yeah. and the and the GLE yeah, they have and then the song they talk about them the time. I still the floor was sleep yeah. and bro for reach right there. So you get me I say? It's and not an easy road. Any type it of It wasn't an easy road. road. So when we see you like enhance and do it and it have potential. Yeah. You kinda it 
And then the youth, me and Enna's management go way back, same way. Yeah. Don't know and big up Bright Nation, same way. The G producer, bad song too. So it was just a joy. Okay. To share stage with a yeah. younger artist yeah. like myself who was destined for great. And the performance myself. was good as well. I'm even yeah. relating it back to your son. I know your son desires to be an artist. I mean, you yeah. recently graduated. No, not really. Even though I'm, I'm, I don't really want him to be an artist. It's not but, like, you know, right. I feel that like people feel like me are forced that upon you. I feel like even if you want to be an artist, you still have to have this. The brains, the intelligence, yeah. the education. So yeah. just get this, my boss, and then you can do anything you want. I'm not stopping. Just do good in a school. If you want to sing a liquor song and make a sing a song, I'm yeah. saying, but, but no good. parents, no parents now push them kids to follow them dreams, you know, but you give yeah. your son a chance. Why was that yeah. good for you in that moment? It, it was a wonderful feeling. Yeah. To share stage with him, cold bomb, even take more. So, yeah. As a parent, how does it feel to change your life before their eyes? Because, like you say, you don't have no father, but you're present for your picnic, them. It rough it because rough. Even, even as an entertainer, sometimes the things that mom really want to sing. They can't sing because you know so But at the same here. time, I realize say, that that yeah. like them are listen other music, we can't yeah, stop them. Yeah. They are listen TikTok, yeah. they are listen YouTube. Mm. So if them not nah, hear you do some things or say some things, yeah. even them are gonna feel like daddy what me can yeah, I give them type of song. Even Jaden yeah. asked me that more like yo, daddy, yeah. where I do yeah. want some of them sang and so, me. I said, bro. <laughs> we know what they listen to. We know what you get me I say. Obviously, everyone has their trauma from their parents and stuff like that. What are some things that you're vowing to yourself to do differently with your child and certain kids? Well, honestly, a lot of things. Okay. I remember, I never grew up with a father, so whatever my dad didn't never do, really do, you want to do that. Yeah, I always try to do that for them. Movie nights, every type of vibes. Yeah. They have a thing called Yes Night. I don't know where Yes Night come from, mm -hmm. but all of them come and say, Daddy, today is Yes Day. Yeah. I'm so what that mean? They say you have to say yes to everything. Oh, okay. So what you mean? All <laughs> that the day they come up now. You get me? I say, it's just yes. Yeah. They just say yes. You finally say yes, spoil the pit them more? No man, them poil. Them poil. Oh. Okay. Rotten poil. Yeah. Last two questions. UTC camp, where is that at now? Well, I don't know. We have some artists who are up UTC camp same way. It's just for them to get the established just like how mm -hmm. in get the established pan reggae some first. Yeah. Yeah, so each one to each one, you get yeah. me. So you're hoping to grow that into like a, a like you know, a bounty a theme before yeah. you want to do that with UTC. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's a lot what's in store for twenty twenty four? I know you said you're working on an album, but there's no well, twenty four done already, man. And I say a twenty twenty five with you already. No, you're not done yet, man. As a quinter twenty twenty five. Brother, me all I wonder if me I get too old fast. <laughs> <laughs> but the album on its way right yeah. now. The album is called Reputation yeah. Album. Reputation, okay. You feel me I say? Okay. Yeah. What are we expecting to hear on that? Some banger. Okay. Some banger. We have a unite. I've united. I've united on this album again. Yeah. I have some upcoming dancehall artists. Okay, so you put Walipa. Not really yeah. Wally. But you have the but included about, albums on it. Yeah. About out of 16 songs on the album and about three collab the panic. Okay. Yeah. Now I want you to send out a message out there to the hardworking dads like yourself, because you know, say so he feels it, knows it. Don't give up on the youth, them. Believe in your youth, them. Believe in yourself. No matter what. Work hard, work smart, same way. Do what you're supposed to do. Be you. Go and big up yourself. Yeah. And I want to say, TJ, thank you for coming on the show. I appreciate you shedding light on your journey and yeah, stuff. Man, and I'm wishing you success. Bro. I don't worry yourself, you yeah. know. When me tell us about <laughs> the vibes and the other artists, them, you know, you watch that, man. That's yeah, just no, our thing. Yeah. Don't have the no, we just no. put them like in place when they don't no respect. Just, it's just like my elder. Me can't walk past my elder and I say, man, sir. So if you walk past me, I'll put you in your place. Bless.